Hello, I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Stored Switzerland. Today we're going to be starting uh, a new test drive in our labs. Uh, we're going to be test driving the Western Digital Sentinel DX4000. It is a four drive, uh, two terabytes per drive uh, unit. Uh, so eight terabytes were all and when configured uh, with RAID 5, which ours is, uh, it's six terabytes usable. It has uh, dual gigabit uh, ports for redundancy uh, and really is designed for a small, as a small office storage server. So we're going to be putting it through its paces over the next several months and to get started of course we want to get it installed. So to do that let's uh, jump into the interface. Uh, as usual with our test drives we uh, just jump right in and don't read manuals to see how easy it is to do. So one thing that became very apparent was that the um, unit showed up on our network um, and the IP address was broadcasted on the LCD screen so it made it very easy to find. So first step is to download and install the setup wizard so we'll go ahead and do that. You so the first step is to answer some of the basic questions. Verify the time. And now we can go through uh, our uh, configuration. So we, we'll, we'll keep the WD Senator name Uh, how do we want to keep things up to date? Uh, so we'll just take the recommended settings here. And the next step is for it to prepare the server. So we'll uh, let that uh, go ahead and happen. And while that does, we will uh, and we'll come back when it's complete. Hello, George Crump, and we're back here. Um, the installation and configuration has now been complete, uh, right on schedule. And so now all we need to do is connect this computer and we're ready to go and then we'll work on connecting some of the other systems. Uh, also important to note that as we were, as the install and everything was happening, not only did the screen show updates, but also the uh, LCD panel on the uh, Sentinel itself also showed updates. So no matter where you were, you could see what was going on. So I found that very helpful. Okay, and so our next step now is to download the software to help us connect to this um, uh, so to the server. So we'll download the uh, software for Windows, obviously here. So we'll let this uh, install go ahead and happen and we'll be ready for our next uh, step. Okay, we are back. Our software is uh, installed and now it's asking for the password to the system itself. Next up we'll identify the uh, computer. Uh, Now it's going to ask about um, automatically backing this computer up. And then the final step is to uh, download the connector software and uh, configure everything. Okay, and everything is complete. So now we'll just click finish. And we are ready to go. And we just need to sign in.
And there you have it. We're uh, set up with our uh, screen here and we uh, just need to kind of go through a tour of the interface and make sure everything is working correctly. So in our next video, that's exactly what we'll do. We'll uh, set up some users, users, go through the backup tasks, uh, set up server folders and hard drives and things like that. Again, this is George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland, testing the Western Digital Sentinel DX4000. Thank you for tuning in.